This is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of this series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Watch the series from the beginning with a link down below, as well as learn how you can actually join us in this world. Last time on Ray's Grid, we checked out some cool farms and projects throughout the world. We also completed some harder advancements to get closer to our goal. So we are down here underneath the spawn, and if we do F3 plus B, we can see the mobs spawning on the little platforms. Hoping to get maybe some skeletons and some creepers, and see if we can get our first music disc through these guys, and we can use that to hopefully get the next advancement. The chest got a skeleton already. It looks like it's far enough away for the iron golems. So now we just need to get a creeper here, and it shouldn't be able to despawn. Uh, looks like the boat caught a creeper over here. <laughs> Let's see if we can release it. Come on, creeper. You see me? Oh, there it comes. Okay. Okay, let's bring the creeper. I'm coming over with the creeper, guys. Watch out. Coming in with the creeper. Oh, they got another creeper, too. Oh! Did they get a disc? Yeah, they did get a disc. Nice. Okay, come with Watch out. Watch out. It's right behind you. Creeper's behind you. Creeper's behind you. <laughs> creeper's behind you. It's not going to attack you. Oh, okay. I guess we can bring the other skeleton over. Looks like a porcupine. Okay, now it's done. It might knock the creeper out. Oh, it's coming after me now. Got one hit. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Oh, so close. Yes. Okay, awesome. So we got two discs. That is amazing. Let me pick those up. We got mall as well as blocks. That's awesome. I guess if anyone else wants to get more discs, we eventually need to get all the different discs to put in our museum. But let's go ahead and see if we can get a jukebox next. So we got a diamond and let's go ahead and make that jukebox. Use of one of our diamonds. Awesome. So now we actually have a jukebox. Now we just need to find a meadow so our player disc in the jukebox. Okay, so we located a meadow. It's right here at these coordinates, but in the overworld. So let's go ahead and place down a nether portal here and let's see if we can get this advancement. So we are out here and let's take a look at our F3. It is indeed a meadow. You can see the terrain. It's really cool. Got the different flowers and stuff. And let's go ahead and give this a try. We got ourselves our jukebox, our music disc, and let's give this a go. Meadow, jukebox, music disc, and we got sound and music advancement. <laughs> Yay! Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. That is awesome. Another one completed. I mean, there's only three left on here. Uh, one fairly easy one and two much harder ones. Getting ever closer to completing all of the advancements. Great job, guys. On the way back to spawn, we stop by over at Jay, who is working on rebuilding an entire chunk to make it look like a normal world by filling it all back in. Wow. <laughs> look how much progress Jay has made. The, the one chunk. That's crazy. Look how high up we are. You're almost to the stone layer. The stone layer up there. That goes so much faster. We got some diamonds here. Are part of the chunk. Look at all the deep slate that he removed. That is insane. Wow. This looks amazing. Even got some tough blocks in here. Very cool. We then headed our way back to spawn, but we were greeted with the one thing I dreaded to see. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there's a raid at spawn! Someone came in with bad omen. I guess these are technically villages here. Oh, they're over here. They're on the Mungus. <laughs> Just shove them off the edge. You're the Ravager. That's actually, it could be a good way to get the Ravager. We do need to actually collect all these mobs. Oh, they're just gonna destroy it. <laughs> Look at them go! <laughs> oh, they're going into the nether! Oh, we got some, uh, we got some jockeys. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're after me now! I just got my axe. I want to ask him a question. Oh, yeah, so I hit the bell so you can see him. Oh, we got Vex. Oh, it's scary. We're getting kind of close to our uh, villages. Okay, we need to get this person. This one's the worst. We got big Ooh. Actually, this is kind of nice because I do have to kill one of every mob, right? Oh, shoot. Let me kill a Vex. <laughs> To get the to get that one advancement, kill every one of our mob. Hey, kill the vex. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, we actually got a victory. <laughs> nice job, guys. While cleaning up the raiders, we were in the area to check out Seji's lovely house. It had some great views, but it also had some axolotls, which reminded me to get those related advancements. We also need a drown, which we can get by dunking the zombie in some water. Oh shoot, there's the iron golem. Let me see if I can keep it. And capture it. Okay, yeah. We do need the zombie so we can actually help the axolotl. And in order to do that, we need to turn this zombie into a drowned. So we'll keep it right here. I feel bad. This iron golem is called Ray, but we have to remove it because this is the spot for axolotls. And I can't bring the zombie in there because the iron golem will kill it. Okay, so we'll borrow one of Seji's axolotls. I'll uh, take this pink one here and let's take it back to spawn. So let's see if we get this guy into the water. We'll first try to back him up a little bit. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. Okay, then we'll cover this up so he doesn't get burned by the sunlight. We'll remove it. Hopefully he'll jump into the water. Come into the water, zombie. And then it sinks in the water. It turns into a drowned. And once he's a drowned, we need to hit him, then the axolotl needs to hit him, and then we need to kill him. But I do got my sharpness 5 axe. So I'm going to hit him just with a fist, punch him, then I'll release the axolotl. Looks like the zombie is going to convert. There it is, it's a drown now. Okay, let's give this a try. The axolotl goes over here, we punch it. The axolotl needs to hit it now, and then now we need to kill it. Oh yes, we got the advancement! Yay! That's amazing! I've tried so hard in the past to get this advancement. I never do it quite right. There it is. <laughs> the healing power of friendship. Team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Nice job there. We should name this axolotl. He is a very good one. Let's return him. Go ahead and rename this one. We'll call him Mighty One. Let's go ahead and return Mighty One to his home over here. And now he has a name. <laughs> So far in this series, we've been really striving to get all advancements, but our other goals is to get all items and mobs. But when it comes to checkmarking these off, it's much more difficult than the advancements, which you can easily see when you complete them. So we've been working on a museum at 00, zero in our world, where we're going to have a display case for every single item possible, and eventually make a zoo for all the mobs. The main part of the museum is just underneath the spawn, so it doesn't interfere with the builds above. It consists of eight different corridors. Each corridor is going to house 150 items. So with all eight of them, we can house the over 1,200 items in the game. But as you can see, the entire museum is being built out of quartz. Luckily, quartz is renewable with piglin bartering. And I was told that there is a new piglin bartering place that's open to the public to use. So let's head over there and see if we can gather some more quartz so we can continue to make progress on it. So Mr. Chess came in and built a dedicated bartering farm. Got a bunch of piglins in here. Yeah, I like how you built everything out of gold. It's amazing. It's automatically taking ingots, giving it to these guys. The loot's all ending up down here. Getting aligned and pushed over top of these hoppers, getting all sorted. This looks amazing. And then just underneath is where he has all the storage. Got dedicated chests for everything. So we need a lot of quartz. <laughs> If we're going to collect all the different items and store them at spawn. We also get tons of other great loot. Bartering is like one of the most productive farms in Minecraft. So having several different bartering farms is definitely useful to have. Okay, let's grab all this quartz. It says we can use it for the spawn project. Make it into quartz blocks. It's easier to transport. Nice. So now we have a bunch of it, which we can use. So I headed back to spawn to drop off this quartz, and I noticed that the Nether Hub got a useful upgrade. Well, wow. here at the Nether Hub, we actually got a beacon in place. That's amazing. So now we got some more effects that can help us around this area, including haste, regen, resistance, and strength. Keep all those pesty piglins away. With the quartz dropped off, I then focused on an advancement, which I thought wasn't going to be that difficult to get. So the next easiest advancement for us to get is actually the one where we look at a parrot with a spyglass. So we're going to have to go find a jungle. We know where one is at. It's 2,000 blocks away in overworld. It's only about 200 blocks in the nether. So let's head out there and see if we can find a parrot. 
I think I'm ready. So I got obsidian to make the nether portal, flint steel to light it. We got some leads to pull the parrots around. I got some seeds to tame them and a later and rockets to get there. I think we're all set. So we're at the right coordinates and let's finish up this nether portal and go ahead and alight it and see if we can find ourselves a parrot to get that advancement. Now we spawned out here. It does look lush. Yes, this is definitely a jungle. Awesome. Let's turn on hitboxes so we can see any parrots that are around in the area. I didn't find a parrot, but I found a wolf. Um, I think that's useful for something. I do got some bones. I guess I could tame it. So we'll tame it so that it doesn't despawn and we'll eventually probably need it for our zoo or either for breeding. We need to breed two of every mob, including a wolf. So we're still looking for a parrot, but I did find this coral. So let's grab a one of each coral type. Wow, we found just a floating sugar cane. This is how they appear and how you can collect them. Oh, I actually found a village here. Huh? <gasps> There's a cat in the village. Look at the kitty cat. I guess I do need to tame a cat. I don't think I brought the fish along. I think I emptied all the fish off. <laughs> in case we need the cat, I'll just keep it here in this boat. I did find a dead bush on my journey, so let's go ahead and collect that. These things are uncommon, so it's always good to pick them up. So looking for a parrot, I went from one jungle over to a new jungle area because I couldn't find any there, so let's check this one out. Ooh, what is this? Kind of small. <gasps> we found it, guys! Holy muggers. Okay, I've just seen a parrot. It's right up here. But as soon as I landed, I could not find the parrot. I think it just slowly drifted down into the void. Even though I looked all over for it, I didn't even see it down low. It turns out catching this parrot was going to be harder than I thought. Ooh, I see another parrot. It's right here. Let's not lose it this time. <laughs> we lost the last parrot. Okay, Parrot, where are you going to go? Don't fall straight to the void. I got some seeds for you. Come over here, Parrot. Got some lovely seeds. Stop going into the void. No, maybe the Parrots do fall into the void. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no! Okay. We can at least go on a leash. See if we can get back home. Okay, let's feed it so at least stays near us. And yes, awesome. We got tamed. Hey. Keep you on a leash. <laughs> I don't trust you. I feel like you're gonna fall into the void like the last one did. Okay, so I'm gonna break down some inner chest, the neural pickaxe to get some obsidian so I can actually make another portal here. Let's break down a couple more and we should be good to go. We'll try to transport it through another. Currently, the parrot is sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> Somehow I escaped its little prison that I put it in. All right, so we got the parrot on the shoulder, light the portal, and let's see, will the parrot go along with me? It's technically not a passenger subscribe oh yeah it's still here awesome okay let's see if we get back to spawn but we can't fly because we'll fall downwards and then it'll drop off but we're not too far away from spawn maybe we could find a walkway and then take that back it looks like every time i hop we do lose a parrot so i'm just going to put it on a leash and our car over this direction hopefully there's a road and we don't lose a parrot. this happened live on twitch Uh, I only have four more blocks to go. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, I lost the parrot! <gasps> this is the end of it! There's lava underneath of it! <laughs> Where's the parrot? <gasps> Did I just see the parrot die? Paris swam in lava! No! I died! No! Oh my goodness. Why is it so hard? We're back looking for another parrot. Haven't found one yet, but we did find a cocoa bean. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest this. So we got you get some cocoa. Kind of hard because you do have to find cocoa beans that are fully grown, otherwise they update and they pop off. Got another parrot! <laughs> Okay, let's land down here and see if we can catch it as it falls downwards. No! Okay, we got the parrot on a lead. Tame the parrot. Hey, look at that. Okay, now if we right click it, we should be able to put it on the shoulder. 
third time's the charm. We've got the parrot on shoulder. Let's go over into the nether dimension. Got some blocks I can uh, build with. And let's see if we can walk this guy home safely. So we managed to bridge ourselves all the way to the main walkway. And hopefully from here we can get home safely. While the parrot is off of me, let's go ahead and take a look at the parrot. Where is it? Oh, please don't fall in the void. <laughs> okay. Let's look at the parrot with her telescope. Hey, we got the advancement. Is it a bird? That completes this whole parrot tree here. Looking at a parrot through a spyglass. Currently, with this advancement complete, these are kind of all the easy advancements. Everything else is kind of hard now. Let's see if we can get this guy home. So we made it to this rugged outpost. <laughs> There's a hog then sitting in this little boat over here. Let's get rid of that. They take off. Okay. We're almost home. There's the ice way right over there. Parrot still in the shoulder. This is the end portal. We're almost home. <laughs> got the ice bath here. So we got the parrot home. It's right behind me, which is amazing. So now everyone else can get, get the advancement with the spyglass. And we can also use the parrot because we do need to try to get every mob over here into the museum. This is a good start. And maybe we'll even come in and try to get all the different colors of parrots. But this guy is my very own parrot, so I can make him sit. And then we'll just box him in. Perfect. So now we got the parrot here, and once we build up the display case, we'll put it in there. With the first mob added to the zoo, this is an introduction to a long and tedious process of collecting every single mob. Thanks to my supporters who are also whitelisted on the server, and you can become one for free with the link in the description. I will see you in the next episode of Raise Room.